This is question 6, paper 2, from the SQA specimen paper for National 5 Mathematics. There's a diagram of a toy. It consists of two parts, a cone and a hemisphere, half of a sphere. And in your formula sheet, you should find two formula. One for the volume of a sphere, it's a whole sphere, and one for the volume of a cone. Now if we look at the volume of the sphere, um, formula. The only unknown in that is the radius. So 4 thirds times pi times r cubed will get the volume of that sphere. And for a cone there's two things we don't know. The first one is the radius of the base, that's r, and the other one is the height h. So two letters here, one letter here. So let's look at this diagram and see if we can find out what these values are in this particular case. Now the half sphere, the hemisphere that's sitting here, has a diameter that's all the way across the sphere of 12 centimetres. So half of that would give you the radius. So for this hemisphere in the bottom, we're going to use a value of r equals 6 centimetres and we're going to have to half the value we get from this formula since it's a hemisphere. The cone, the radius of this cone, the base of the circle there, would be the 6. That's the same as the radius as the hem of the hemisphere. So again, r is equal to 6. Now the height takes a little bit of working out here. Um, you'll notice that this distance there is the radius of the sphere, which we know now is 6 centimetres. So from the base of the cone to the tip of the cone is going to be 11 centimetres. We take the 6 away from the 17 to get the 11, or thinking of it as an additional 11 for the height plus another 6 gives you the 17 from the base of the toy right to the tip of the top of the toy. So 11 centimetres is the value for the height of that cone. So let's work out these two things. So the first one is volume of cone is equal to, and let's just copy down the formula that we're going to be using. That's one third pi r squared times h, a third the area of the base, the circle, times the height. So we have a third times pi times r, which we know is 6, times h, which we know is 11. So there's our calculation for the volume of the cone. Now let's do this calculation. So 1 divided by 3 times pi there's the pi button, times 6 squared times 11. And that equals 414.69, etc. Now we're going to have to give the answer eventually correct to two significant figures. Um, so we must keep our answers a, a good bit more accurate than two significant figures and only round at the end. So that's the volume of the cone. Let's now look at the volume of the hemisphere. So 
So first of all, we know it's one half of the volume of the sphere. Let's get rid of this so we can see the formula again. There's the volume of a complete sphere. That's four thirds times pi r cubed. So that's the formula we're using. Now if we have four thirds and we want a half of four thirds, we'll end up with only two thirds. A half of four is two. So a half of four thirds is only two thirds. So two thirds times the pi times r cubed. And again r is six. So that's the calculation we're doing now. So two thirds, two divided by three times pi times six raised to the power three. And that's four hundred and fifty two point three eight and so on. Now, I would like basically to take that answer that I've got there and add that to the previous one, which was 414.69. We'll just leave it at that. It should be accurate enough. And that gives us 800. That's the total volume. gives us 867.07 and so on. And that, since we want it correct to two significant figures, is approximately 8. There's the second significant figure. We're chopping a 7 off, which is more than a 5, so the 6 will get raised to a 7. We need to show that this is the tens column and that there's no units now. Uh, and therefore we put that zero in. And the measurement, since it's a volume, would be centimetres cubed. Now we've vandalised that number, so let's state what we've done. That's to two significant figures. So 870 cubic centimetres for the volume of this toy.